Hey guys, this is Gadget Check here, back with another video and this time I'm going to give you a full on guide on using the Kitchen Pro app and give you a preview of the Kitchen Pro V2 which is due to be out soon. So be patient for it, you'll get it soon. Let's open up the app, it greets you with this superb splash screen. App's loading time depends upon the internet connection you have. If it's fast, it loads fast. If it's not fast, it doesn't load that fast. So you're greeted by this beautifully designed UI with that ICS feel to it. It has sliding view pager and has ICS touch to it. Also the cyan color uh, represents it. You can jump to tabs just by hitting those names as I'm showing here right now on top of the view pager. Or you can use your finger to slide in, slide via the UI. Both of them are pretty interesting. Now let's jump into the app settings itself. As you can see, we have go to show selected, apply, download ROM, browse and install and more. I'm gonna go one by one through these. Let's start from more here. So you can see first we have CWM ROM backup. Hit it and it backs up your ROM. That's the Nandroid backup, faster Nandroid backup if you use it like this. Then you have backup user data. You can backup your contacts, calendars, SMS and MMS, call logs, Wi-Fi access point, mobile custom, mobile APNs and sync, synced accounts. All you have to do is stick whatever you want and hit backup now and it backs up for you. Once uh, now, how to restore it is also the same procedure. Just go to the more and use restore user settings. If you have a restore stored, it automatically restores it. Once that's done, let's go to the next tab. It shows you settings. This is very important. Most of you people don't know about this. So this app provides you custom notifications also for new packages that we add. As you can see, uh, ROM checking interval. So if you if you enable this, what it does, it checks for your ROM if continuously for the amount of time you specify, say one day. Every day it accesses the internet and checks if there's a new ROM update or not and notifies you. Package updates. All those packages that are available in the kitchen, uh, that also you can get notification if we add new uh, packages. Selecting server, another important place. Say you're on Checkrom V5, so you should you should have Checkrom V5 selected on your kitchen server. Otherwise, you don't get that server. You'll be in some other server. Uh, like this is on Checkrom V5, so we are on Checkrom V5 server. If not, change it like just I showed right now. That is the most easiest ways to change it. Most of the people don't know about this, so they get confused normally. The great feature we added to the kitchen this time is rating and reviews. Yes, you can rate kitchen content and review them also. So as you can see, Optimal Gears, this boot animation has already been rated and reviewed. It shows you the size of the package content, the rating it has been given in this UI, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and rate Nexus Prime. It's very easy, just hit the stars, give the rating you want, write in your name, um, say Gadgetcheck GC, obviously. Write in the comment, let's write cool. Okay, shit, I made a mistake, <laughs> C-O-L, okay, um, done. Make sure you write an appropriate comment so that it's up useful for people. Want to view other comments? Just hit the review button. It shows you all the reviews that that particular package has got. Let's go back and I'll show you guys how the kitchen content shows you what you have already downloaded and what you have to download. I mean, which packages you have already downloaded and which you have to download. As you can see, FM kernel. See that SD card symbol there? That means that is already available in your SD card. You don't have to download it. Whereas, as you can see in CF root, the download symbol, that means it is to be downloaded. Now, let me show you how we actually flash kitchen content. Let's say I need this boot animation. So hi, hit, mark, install. So as you can see, it's already marked. Now let's see, let's take a pick a kernel, FM kernel, let it be. Okay, uh, mark for installation. Uh, themes, uh, nah, leave it, we don't need it right now. Uh, yeah, market fix, uh, market fix we can install. And let's see, camera mod, yeah. Camera mode right there, mark for installation. Once you have done that, now you want to apply this. Hit the capacitive button, the settings menu pops up, and apply. That is how you apply all this. Say, you don't need a package again. So you can open up show selected. It will show you how many packages are there that you have selected for installation. Say, I don't want camera mode. I can mark, unmark it. So it's gone. It won't be installed. Then go again, hit apply. It starts downloading. So as you can see, it also shows the speed a new feature again. Um, there, it's downloading the boot animation we had selected. The rest is already available in the SD card I previously downloaded. I know, my speed is less. Please don't make fun of me. Uh, now, we have to wait. Let me speed up the video. 
and done okay now it shows us uh, completed now let me walk through yes packet selected we selected three packages packages in sd card there were two in sd card and it downloaded one just hit finish or install i mean sorry and it automatically reboots into recovery i have speeded the process up so it's going to take a long time longer time than this as you can see the new boot animation is right there um, let's speed it up let's speed it up come on yep we are in the menu let's open up kitchen pro app again there's a beautiful splash screen i love it i hope you guys also love it download rom tab yes you can download the latest rom for on whichever device you are just by hitting that on your phone directly on the go go to helps you to jump to different categories even faster say you want mods just go to mods fast pretty fast now let's see browse and install uh, now this feature allows you to flash stuff directly from your sd card say something on your sd card is there which is flashable like ics zip hint hint uh, ics zip so i'm not going to flash that let's see okay uh, check rom revo hd4 v5 zip do you really want to flash it hit okay and it flashes for you automatically uh, removes the manual work in CWM. Now we have the about tab here and the support tab. Uh, let's open up about tab. It tells you about the you can send feedback and the version number and developed by etc etc. Uh, now uh, support support take directly takes you to our website where you get support for the app and for the ROM itself. So if you guys need help with anything, please contact us via our forums at checkrom.com. Oh, let's see, what else can I show you guys? Yes, we have also an added another cool feature where it tells you the size of the packages. Uh, like uh, right there, right now, it's not there because this is in pre-beta stage right now. Uh, so once it's final, it'll show you the packet size also. Uh, and themes, yes, it gives you previews of themes. It shows the author name right there. It shows the amount of stars it got. Right now, it's not been rated, so it, if it's rated, it shows it there. The date on which it was published and plenty of other stuff. A great feature we have added to the Kitchen app is that now it's unique. It automatically detects which uh, device it's running on and selects the appropriate server. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you guys.